Hello, this is Lika from Informatica GCS team. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how indirect file load is done using Informatica Power Center. The agenda of this video is to first see what is indirect file load and then the demonstration of indirect file load with an example. Indirect file load is used to load data from multiple source files having same structure and property. This is done using indirect source file type option in the session. Indirect file load mainly involves two steps. First is creation of list file which will have the complete path and name of the data file. And the second is configuration of file properties in the session that is setting the source file type option to indirect specifying source file directory and indirect source file name. Indirect file load eliminates the need of multiple mappings and the mapping with multiple objects. Suppose there are multiple files with same structure and properties and we do not use indirect file load then we might have to either create multiple mappings to read one file each in one mapping and load it to the target or this could also be achieved by having multiple source definitions one each to read the file and an union transformation to combine the data and load it to the target. Let us now see how indirect file load is done. This is my indirect file source with the complete path and the name of the data file. These are my two ultimate sources US customers and UK customers with the same structure containing customer name and city. This is my customer target with customer name, city and the name of the file from which the record gets inserted. Moving to the mapping, this is my source file definition with customer name and city. In the properties tab here, we have an option called add currently processed flat file name port. By checking this in, a new port will be created which stores the name of the file from which the data will be read. And this is my target definition with customer name, city and file name. Let us now go ahead and create a new mapping. Dragging the source file definition, dragging the target definition and I am linking the ports now, saving the mapping, I am generating a new workflow for this mapping. The workflow has been successfully generated. Now we go to the workflow manager and refresh the folder for the workflow we just generated to be reflected. So this is the workflow I just generated. Now configure the session properties. Go to mapping tab, sources, set source file type to indirect, source file directory to the directory where exactly the indirect source file is located and then the file name will be the name of indirect source file. Also, our source files have headers. In order to exclude them, we need to go to set file properties. 
advanced and we have an option here number of initial rows to skip set that to 1 the target connection is in place so apply ok and then save I'm starting the workflow now the workflow is running the workflow has just succeeded and in the statistics here we can see that four rows have been extracted from multiple sources combiningly and four have been loaded to the target now if we check our target table we can see that four rows have been loaded to the target with customer name city and the name of the file with complete path so this is how indirect file load is done using Informatica Power Center. Refer to the knowledge base article for the relevant information. We would love to hear from you any suggestions that will help us in improving our video content. Thank you.